Wow. We are here in the mushroom capital of China where all the market kind of happens and where a lot of the distribution for different types of mushrooms, both edible and medicinal, happen here in this place. This is a truck full of lion's mane. And I think if I look back into the market there, there is lion's mane everywhere. There are mushrooms galore. This place is entirely dedicated just to the wholesale trade of mushrooms. So bags of lion's mane like this are not that uncommon. I mean, this is pretty surreal, actually. We're gonna have a little walkthrough in the market here and just have a look at how mushrooms are traded and exchanged here in China. Now, this is the number one place in the world for working with mushrooms, and we're here in the biggest market of mushrooms in the world. So, All right. pretty excited, pretty excited to be here. <laughs> okay, okay. All right, so everywhere we look, there are mushrooms. I mean, they're some of the best mushrooms in the world, some of the tastiest. We have these stink horns, like rows and rows and rows of stink horns. We've got a Nemico mushroom. This one's pretty tasty. We've been eating a bunch of those. There's also a bunch of the King Belites. I mean, I picked this mushroom at home, but nowhere near volumes like that. We've also got your black fungus over here, which is very tasty. We've been eating those like tons. I mean, look at these porcini stems. Oh, that is a very tasty mushroom. One of our favorites. They grow up in the mountains where we are, but I'm sure they're cultivated here. Tremella, cloud mushroom. This one's one that's used for beauty. And then there's some nice big ones over here. These are so beautiful. We're gonna go see some of these growing today. I mean, have you ever had a shiitake mushroom? Well, here's the section just on shiitakes all graded into different types. Okay, Shane, this is your art piece. So in the marketplace, a, a traditional Chinese fable is the shape of the mushroom is the part of the body it works on. So in the case of reishis like this, they're all different shapes. This one would be, looks more like a brain, so they might use it for the brain. Whereas that one looks more like a heart, so it might be used for the heart. One of these might look more like a kidney, and they use it for the kidney. Of course this mushroom is good for all different parts of the body. Often they are picked out and graded based on the shape of the mushroom. Sort of like that doctrine of correspondence where like cures like. Everything has a level of correspondence in Chinese medicine. Essentially, we are moving into the lung season right now in the fall, but the seasons transition along with the colors, along with the flavors. So these being black, the black goji berry, the black reishi are a kidney jing tonic, which is more of a winter tonic. So that's kind of the season that these might be used for. The red reishi would be much more of that heart tonic, the red color, the red mushrooms. These would be more summer, summer heat, uh, calming down the spirit. So they're kind of moving through the seasons. We start in the spring with wood and liver. This kind of moves into spleen chi, and then that moves into heart chi, and then that moves into lung chi, and then that moves back into kidney chi, and back into liver. And this whole season goes around and around. Winter being the kidneys, spring being the liver, it's early summer being the spleen, late summer being the heart, and fall being the lungs. Oh, that took me a bit. All right, so we got king oysters. He's grading them. This is like a resin from a peach tree, and in China, the peach is kind of synonymous with longevity. So I believe this is used as medicine. And a whole bag of this specially teased off of the peach tree to be used as a medicine. These are a special type of reishi that they grow 
mostly for decoration, for painting on. They don't produce spores, and often because they're too large to really cut up and use as medicine. They're not usually used as a medicine, but they're just impressive, and they're not grown on a log. They're grown on a kind of special sawdust puck. You can see this one is 14 kilos in size. Beautiful reishi mushroom, wow. Oh, can you believe that? That is impressive. <laughs>